According to the latest weather report, there is a chance of a huge flood taking the town by storm, so all are requested to take precautions. Well, now we need to prepare ourselves for this unwelcome natural disaster. That's something we all must know. Hey friends, so in today's episode, let us dive into this floody situation to learn a few safety tips by answering a life-saving question. How to survive a flood? Zoom in! Floods. We already learned about its definition and causes in our most popular video. So I request you to please go through it once more to get in-depth information on its working mechanism. But here's a quick revision for you. An event when a dry piece of land suddenly gets submerged in water is usually known as a flood. I know you must be thinking, what's so scary about water? After all, you drink it, brush your teeth with it every day, bathe in it and wash your floor with it. Well, sure, water is needed for our survival. But the same water in excess can cause massive destruction. Yes, the power of floods is sometimes very dangerous and can cause widespread devastation, resulting in loss of life and damages to personal property and critical public health infrastructure. You won't believe it, but around 90% of all US natural disasters involve some sort of flooding. And it is the most common natural calamity around the world. Therefore, we all must be aware of the safety measures one must take before, during and after the floods to protect ourselves and our loved ones. And the first step in flood survival is to assess your risk by listening to the weather report on the radio, TV or the internet, especially if you live in a coastal region. And if you come across any warnings, Quickly share the news with your family. Then it is essential to stock up on first aid items, non-perishable foods, 3 gallons of water per person for 3 days, battery operated radio for weather reports, extra batteries, a rope and other personal hygiene necessities. Also, make sure to keep important documents in a waterproof container. And if possible, move valuables to higher shelves and make sure to switch off electrical appliances as it can cause electrical fires. But here is a thing my friends, floods aren't always a slow rise of water. And at times it can happen so quickly that we don't get any time to prepare. And that's why what you do during a flood is vital for survival. For that reason, the first thing you must do is always listen to adults and stick with your family no matter what. And most importantly, if your local authorities ask you to evacuate, please do it immediately and go to the top floor, terrace or roof of your house or if possible, move out to the higher ground. But make sure to avoid getting into dirty water or jumping into it as it may carry bacteria or can be vulnerable to electric shock or worse, one can get dragged away and drown in it. And once you see the water level going down, wait for your local authorities to examine the place and once they say it's safe, then return to your home with your family. But once you get down, do not rush into the water as it can be contaminated. So, let the adults clean the house and utilities before touching anything. And when all the water dries up, help your family keep the things back to where they were. Trivia time! Did you know the deadliest flood on record was the 1931 China floods, 
also known as the 1931 Yangtze Huai River floods. Yes, this flood is also considered the deadliest natural disaster in recorded history. Hope you learned something very useful today. Do share this video with your loved ones. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. <laughs> Never mind.